All right, today I got a 2008 Nissan Murano. Uh, radiators, spraying coolant out the middle. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pulling off this plastic. I already got most of these tabs popped up. Get underneath them with a pick and pull all the tabs out. We're gonna remove this so we can start getting the bumper off. Okay, so you get your black ones off, you get all the top clips out. I use this pick. And what you have to do is get behind. Let me set this on the ground here. You gotta get under each one of these little tabs and click them up one at a time and carefully remove the grill. These guys up here get kind of stuck in the corners. You gotta pop this out and then just go through one at a time and work your way across the grill. That way you can expose the radiator. Uh, now, Now that I can see, I'm going to actually put pressure in it again and see where it was leaking from. It should be spraying out of here somewhere. Oop, right there. You just see the bubbles coming right out of the tank. So, that's what we're fixing. Seal right behind here. Actually, when the front end was on, I thought it was actually coming out of the core, but it's out of the plastic tank, so... Okay, so I pulled some bolts and I got rid of this stuff back here, the air cleaner intake, and I got looking at it. I'm not going to be able to pull this whole thing off. We're going to have to get the hoses off from the backside and pull it forward. I may have to take the whole bumper cover off um, to gain a little bit more access uh, and at least get this piece of metal move forward. But I thought I could just lift this up, but it's... The, the AC lines go through the metal here, and there's a wiring harness going through it here, so that's not going to be possible. All right, so pull your inner fender back. You're going to have a bolt right there. A couple of screws here. There's a couple bolts on the bottom of the cover right here. And the same thing on this side. you got another hidden bolt back in there. Um, with that off, you should be able to just pop the bumper cover on both sides and we'll let it down and get that out of there. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed the entire bumper cover. Um, I pulled the horn bracket and kind of set it off to the side. There's just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts down in here. And then that came over here, so I should have enough room. I'll probably have to remove this because I'm gonna to have to get the radiator loose and come straight up with it. So we'll pull the hood release off and get that out of my way too quick. But yeah, the whole goal is to leave the AC completely attached and not pop any of the lines because I don't wanna to have to recharge it. So this is the way we do it. All right, so with the plastic panel on this side I removed to give me a little bit more access to pull this away. Um, I disconnected the connector off the AC and then I use a bungee strap to kind of pull it as far forward as I can. Um, the transmission cooler lines are taken off top and bottom, lower hoses pulled, upper hoses pulled. So this should just give me enough room with a little bit of pressure over here to slip this radiator right up and out of here. So I'm going to need two hands to do it, but that's where we're at. All right, so there's the radiator. AC stayed in there. Um, I did have to pull the headlight a little loose to pull this out, and I unclipped this piece and pushed it off to the side. Um, the biggest difficulty is the drain sticks out really far on the bottom. So that was probably the hardest thing to get out of the bottom and cleared up through here. Uh, if you had an extra set of hands, Maybe an extra person helping you get it out might make it easier, but you can definitely get the radiator out without taking the AC out, which is how I like to do it. So it's out. We're gonna get the new one and start putting it back together. All right, so we have our brand new radiator. Looks pretty good shape. Uh, this line was a little bit bent. I had to tweak it back. Um, we're gonna get it thrown in, get this thing put back together. All right, you got it carefully dropped into place. Uh, no damage to any of the fins. 
on the condenser or the radiator. So it does say you're supposed to pull it and drain the AC. Like I said, I try never to do that because I would never want to create a problem with the air conditioning that wasn't necessarily there before or be responsible for any problem in the future because I took it apart. So I always try and leave it together. And normally I'd never have any problems doing it. Some cars you absolutely can't. You have to uh, evacuate the system because there's just no way to do it. But most, even though they say you're supposed to, you can get away with just doing it kind of like I just did. Um, so clip, it's all in. I'll get my bungee cord off of that. We'll get the condenser mounted back in. And uh, yeah, we'll get the rest of it put back together. I do gotta say, getting to these hose clamps, even with the proper tools, is quite difficult. Um, so if you do try and tackle a job like this, be warned that some of these are very difficult to get to, these pinch clamps. Okay, so I've gone through, got all the bolts back in for the headlights, the horns mounted, um, both sides, overflow tank, the upper radiator hose, the clamp is on, the neck is tight. I still have to do the transmission lines and the lower hose. Uh, so I'm gonna lift it up, get the lower hose and the transmission lines on it, and then we'll start putting the front bumper back on. All right, so set your bumper cover on. Make sure you don't forget to plug in your fog lights. Get this clip set. And come over and get this clip. You can see how this one's out. Should slowly pop in. Uh, well, I'm gonna use two hands so I don't crack it, but we'll get the clips in, and then we'll grab these bolts underneath here first, and then we'll go through and get all of the, the pins put back in before we put the grill on. All right, so I got all the hose clamps on, front bumpers on, headlights, grill, I have no bolts left. Actually, I was short too. There was two missing off the headlights that weren't in there when I took it apart, so I found a couple extras for that. We're gonna fill the cooling system with the vacuum. Well, we're gonna pull the vacuum on the cooling system, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll fill it with coolant. All right, so we pulled the vacuum. Uh, get it focused here. See, we're pulling about 26 inches of vacuum and it's holding steady. So I can confidently say that there's no leaks in the system. We'll be able to fill it up with coolant, run it, get it warm, and double check the, the temp on it. So we're gonna get it filled up. All right, you see the coolant's going in through the hose. All right, so the cooling system's totally filled. The only thing left to do now is run it up to operating temp, make sure we got good heat coming out of the heater core. Uh, let it cool back off and double check fluid levels, but this one should be completed.